the recruiting process. Now let's get into why we are all here, the recruiting process. This will be a step-by-step -step guide on what to do from getting a job order to submitting the candidate. The first thing I like to tell all recruiters is we can't manage or control what candidate companies hire, but we can manage and control how many great candidates we give them to choose from. Your focus should be on finding qualified candidates that leave no doubt, rather than to wonder if the client is going to hire the one that you submitted. The recruiting process. Here are a couple of rules that we live by. We never submit more than three qualified candidates for the same job order. In some circumstances we will, but this requires management approval. Only qualified candidates get submitted. We have must-have requirements for all candidates on all of our job orders. If the candidate you're speaking with doesn't meet those, then they are not able to be submitted. Receiving the job order. A job order is defined as a position that a client or network partner has tasked us with recruiting. Receiving the job order. When you receive a new job order, it will come via email from Kevin Pound. Every new job order is analyzed by management and distributed fairly and evenly via Slack. We realize that some recruiters can handle a heavier job load than others, and we put new available job orders on the Slack chat room to see who is available to take them. Let's look at a sample job order. Now remember, upon receiving your new job order, please read it in its entirety and become as informed and comfortable with it as you can. Always reply to the email to confirm receipt of the job order. This is a sample job order. As you can see, the salary range is posted above please do not post salaries. The recruiter commission is right here for this particular job order. There will be notes from here. Maybe this is a new search. We need a system analyst in the region and some search terms that you might want to search for. Do not post on any job board any of this information. You will have your position title, whether or not this job order is eligible for relocation, and the location of the job order followed by the job description and qualifications. This can be posted on job boards, on our website, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, etc. Down below, we have must-have requirements that we need notes on with the candidate submittal. These are must-haves. Do not submit a candidate that does not have all the must-have requirements. Again, this is exactly what your sample job order will look like, what an actual job order would look like. Entering the job order into candidate. When you receive your new job order, you first must enter it into candidate, our ATS. It is imperative that the job order get entered into the ATS so you can easily track all of your job orders and where you are at with all of them. The rule is, if it's not in the ATS, it didn't happen. Please refer back to the candidate module for an example on how to do this. Please make sure that all of the information is updated in candidate if you are using it. 
If you have additional questions about candidate, please contact Kevin Pound directly at kpound at skycrew.com. Finding Candidates Finding great candidates is essentially what recruiters do. We want to source great, qualified candidates, and we have some basic tools to do just that. The following tools have been used successfully by Skyline recru recruiters to place our job orders. You are not required to use any of them, but I can tell you from experience, they work. Some of these tools are Indeed, LinkedIn, Craigslist, Networking, Referrals, Social Media, and our Skyline website. The Screening Interview No candidate can be submitted to any of our clients without being screened by a recruiter. One of your initial emails will be an example candidate screen questionnaire. Let's take a second to look it over. This is the candidate screening questionnaire. First, introduce yourself. Second, explain why you're calling. Ask about 10, 5, and 1 your professional goal. What are their goals in 10 years, in 5 years, or next year? What is the candidate best at? What do they like doing? What do they not like doing? Ask them to tell you about their role at whatever company they're at. Ask about their supervisor. What would they say about their performance? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, how high would their former boss or supervisor rate their performance? Now, if you feel good after asking these questions, you know, talk about the open position. Note, do not reveal the name of our client without a resume in your possession. This means not a job board resume, but a hard copy resume in PDF or doc form. Some questions to ask. What's your timeline on making a decision on your new job? Do you have any offers pending that will make it hard for you to complete the interview process? As you evaluate your next move, what sorts of things are important to you? Is there anything you feel is relevant to our conversation that we haven't discussed yet? This interview should last about 20 to 30 minutes. Every job order is going to be different and some questions vary from job description to job description. They'll also warrant uh, additional questions. This is just a guide of what the minimum questions should be. Submitting a candidate. When you have sourced and screened a candidate that is qualified to present, please follow these steps. Draft an email in the format of the candidate presentation example. Make sure there are notes in the body of the email addressing all must-haves. Send the email to submissions at skycrew.com while copying Kevin Pound on the same email. Make sure that you attach a hard copy of the candidate's resume. Resumes from job boards will not be accepted. Let's take a look for a second at the candidate presentation example. This is an actual email from one of our recruiters to a client of ours. And uh, it was very professionally done and this is what the email should look like. You're actually going to have a copy of this in your email after this training when you access your email. You're actually going to have a copy of this to reference. But I wanted to show it to you. This is just a 
printed copy of an email that was sent to me as you can see is from a, uh, a recruiter of ours um, back in December to our client Dan uh, she copied me and another person uh, the subject uh, always put the director of slots it, that was the name of the job order and then this was uh, this was their code for it and then she attached um, the resume um, she got a little wordy in this um, email but it really was very good you can read it um, at your leisure again this is going to be in your email box um, after this training when you log in along with about eight to ten other things but um, has you know the experience the earning earnings and licenses she covered all the bases again got a little wordy so I'm not going to read the entire thing um, but very 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 detailed and um, very good um, always put if she is unavailable please contact me and just for clarification you're going to see this domain skyline recruiting solutions dot com a lot and again on this example you see it down here skyline recruiting solutions dot com that is not our domain name uh, our domain name is skycruit dot com but that was our original domain name and the reason it got switched is because uh, basically we got tired of typing out skyline recruiting solutions you know the entire way so it got shortened to skycrew.com which we like better so this is the candidate presentation example after submitting the candidate you will receive confirmation that the submittal has been received and whether or not the candidate qualifies if you have followed the previous steps the qualification of the candidate shouldn't be in question we keep all records on which recruiters submit which candidates Please keep these records for yourself as well. Any correspondence that we get from our clients will be immediately forwarded to you, the recruiter. It is important to note the following. Keep in contact with your candidates throughout the entire process. Sometimes clients can work on their own schedule and let the candidate know something before us you can learn a lot from a candidate. Always copy Kevin Pound at kpound at skycrew.com on any email that is addressed to a client or network partner. Payment period. Our contract with our clients states that they have 30 days to pay their invoice from the start date of the candidate that we placed as all of our recruiter commission agreement state which you signed you will be paid your commission no later than 48 hours after skyline has received payment on the invoice guarantee period skyline offers our clients a 90-day guarantee on all candidates placed in the event that one of our candidates quits is terminated for cause in the first 90 days of employment we will replace that candidate at no cost please note we do not issue refunds in our next module we are going to discuss how to create an indeed account <laughs>